Happy Tuesday. Welcome to your video menu. So we have this amazing vendor. We've used them for a while, but we haven't used them for beans. Thousand Springs Mills in Buell, Idaho. This meal had the black beans and then the cannellini beans. They're unbelievable. They're amazing. Uh, the, the beans are the best I've ever had. And we just, they come hard. You buy them by the pound and you cook them up. That's what we did. So this is a cannellini bean with fresh rosemary. Um, the vision of this in my head was really beautiful because it was beets and, and uh, carrots and hey, all these pretty colors. Of course, we roasted them and they all turned brown <laughs> with the balsamic sauce that we made. So they're not as pretty as I wanted it to be, but it's delicious. So that's the cannellini beans, Thousand Springs Mill uh, beans with fresh rosemary and roasted veggies. Lentil burger, wild, wild rice and lentil burgers with butternut fries and an orange um, tahini sauce that we made to put on top of it. Uh, I would warm these up in a skillet or in the oven either way. Throw the whole thing in the oven, warm it up. Same with that. Um, castle vetrano. Oh, this is one of my favorite dishes. The, the preserved lemon and castle vetrano chicken or olive chicken <laughs> with the chula rice. I can't speak tonight. Um, it's slow cooked for probably six or seven hours. And it's so flavorful. So I would I put the whole thing in the oven, bring it up to a temperature like 375, not too much. You don't want it too hot um, or the temperature too hot and, and enjoy it. It's so good. The crab and shiitake ramen. So it's a coconut basil broth. Cook the ramen separately, pro tip, and then warm this up and pour it over it and then enjoy it. It's so yummy. Um, cardamom cream of broccoli soup. It's vegan. It's delicious. Enjoy it. It smells like broccoli, but it's really yummy. Black bean and sweet potato soup. Like I said, this was just turned out so yummy and it has everything to do with those black beans that we got from the guys at Thousand Mills. So thank you to them. Farmer's Market Salad. Do you know that next week is the last outdoor farmer's market? It is. Then they move indoor, but that's okay because we have connections. So we'll still get our stuff. Um, Black quinoa with seared figs, goat cheese. Um, yummy. It's a gut of balsam production. So figs and persimmons are starting to come into season. So you're going to start seeing some of those through the menus. Um, crudite, beautiful. Whipped uh, feta with roasted. We roasted some peppers and uh, just whipped it all together. And Kalamata olive hummus. Um, coconut macaroons dipped in chocolate with pistachios on top. Uh, we were definitely Lucy and Ethel today making those in the assembly line. That is definite. Um, and we made lots of them. Tracy's laughing. <laughs> pear cake. Okay, second attempt at the pear cake because I forgot to take it out of the oven. I'm going to admit that. I forgot. I thought I did. I envisioned that I did, and I didn't. Um, so I made that twice this week, and it's so yummy. The pears are fresh. They're local. I may have picked one or two from our neighbor's yard. Well, I did, and they're good. Uh, that is it. That is your menu for the week. Thank you so much for letting us nourish you.